Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Horizon Impact Award ceremony. What an honor to be present uh, to this special occasion. This award celebrates not only the EU-funded research itself, but also the researchers behind it, demonstrating their passion, their achieved results, and delivered impact for society in many different areas and many different ways. We are here to witness and to tell the story of this fantastic project that went the extra step to create an impact and delivered solutions. We piloted this award last year, and it was an incredible success with hundreds of applications. This year, despite the challenges and circumstances of COVID-19, once again, the award received hundreds of excellent entries, which goes to show how important research and innovation are when it comes to results that benefit the society. Having said that, and without further ado, I would like to present to you Zikne Razzo, Deputy Director General of DG Research and Innovation. Zikne. Thank you, Anna. I'm very happy to be here today. The Research and Innovation Days are all about collaboration, bringing together individuals and experts from all areas to build connections and ignite a brighter future. And welcome, everyone, to the second edition of the Horizon Impact Award in Europe, at the level of the European Union, and in all member states, we fund research to advance science, but also to generate knowledge, to see the results and achievements, and how these translate into concrete benefits for society. The focus of this award is exactly that, to show the wider socio-economic benefits of the EU investment in research and innovation across Europe and beyond, highlighting concrete achievements and impact and celebrating the researchers behind it. We are delighted to see that among the numerous applications, there are many great examples of how research and innovation directly benefit citizens in many different ways. Their ideas and products have changed people's daily lives for the better. And so we present to you the 10 finalists of the Horizon Impact Award. Let's have a look at who they are and hear from them about the impact that their research has brought. <laughs> The Invisible project was targeting the development of a new class of transparent electronic components based on eco-friendly and sustainable materials. The key results were that we reduced the mortality by absolutely 8% for these patients with cardiogenic shock by just treating the infarct-related artery. And this is probably one of the most effective therapies in patients with cardiogenic shock so far. And our goal was to help the smallest of heart patients, children waiting for a donor heart. And we wanted to give them the freedom to move around and experience life also outside the four hospital walls. The importance of involving people with impairments and disabilities was vitally important to make sure it was bespoke to their needs. Diamonds are numerous and there are some specific ones such as the one we call Nitrogen Vacancy Center and this has very unique properties in terms of quality, sensitivity and precision. The idea was to turn these natural defects and exploit their property in a new technology field. The technology we have developed allows to really target bacteria in a manner that has never been done before. We deal with archival documents, handwritten documents, historical documents, and we make them searchable and readable with machine learning and artificial intelligence. Ibora has improved accessibility to tools that enable the design of medical devices that are safe and adhere to medical device standards. By fitting this threatened species with a new generation of loggers, Ocean Sentinel will allow to improve the conservation of the Southern Ocean and of the marine environment in general because it will provide new information. 
what was the key moment is when we shared some of our results on discoveries with the pilots and then they took the advice, they implemented our advice and indeed we saw that we saved fuel and that's where we realized that we, we had something. Wow, very impressive, all of them. Congratulations to all finalists. And now, let's see who are the winners. Yes, very impressive indeed. And inspirational too. So, for these 10 finalists, we will announce the five winners. Please be aware there is no ranking between them. So, all five will be awarded equally and will receive the prize of 10,000 euros. Yes, precisely. Also, after the announcement of each winner, a short video will be projected so we can all witness and understand the high importance of their work and the results on our society. Drum roll, please. And so, one of the winners of this year's Impact Award is a project that used their research results, big data and artificial intelligence, to preserve and digitalize the hidden treasures of our cultural her heritage. The award goes to Transcribos. Congratulations. Archival collections are one of the last hidden treasures in European culture. Our key research result in one sentence the computer is now able to read old handwritten documents. And the technology is available to everyone who uses the Transcribus platform. So we have combined both research in pattern recognition and machine learning, as well as setting up the service platform in the internet. And with this platform, users can train directly the computer to read the old handwriting. So currently, we have more than 38,000 registered users in the Transcribus platform, and they have trained about 5,500 models for recognizing handwritten documents. We are currently carrying out several projects with uh, National Archives. EG with the National Archive of the Netherlands and of Finland. They have used Transcribus to create good recognition model for Dutch and for Swedish and Finnish. What inspired us is that old archives are full of stories and they are also full of data, lots of data. And these stories and these big data of the past are waiting to get explored and discovered. Fantastic. The software technology revolutionized access and ability to analyze and transcribe historical documents and archives. And it is accessible not only to computer scientists, but also to researchers, scholars, and anyone interested in the humanities and the historical archives. Let's hear from the winners, Günther Mühlberger and Andy Stauder. Over to you. Thank you a lot. Uh, actually, this was a very nice surprise uh, this week in the postal office. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank all who contributed to our work. On first place, the EU Commission, the call on virtual research environments, which was published five years ago, was exactly what was needed in our field. Second, I would like to thank my university. It is simply wonderful to work there in Innsbruck. Thirdly, I would like to thank all our users. In the last years, we received thousands of emails. This was so motivating and encouraging for us. And last but not least, I would like to thank all project partners and especially my team in Innsbruck. You have done amazing work. So now let's go for the next challenge. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's see who is the next winner. Oh, it's a project that used the research results and developed a new class of eco-friendly transparent electronics that connect us one another, which this year has specially shown its importance. The award goes to Invisible. Let's have a look at their video.
The Invisible Project was an interdisciplinary project targeting the development of a new class of transparent electronic components based on eco-friendly metal oxide semiconductors like zinc oxide. The main motivation of Invisible Project was to work with green materials, abundant, non-toxic, and green technologies, non-polluting, and using low energy processes. We gain in terms of sustainability and also we gain in terms of uh, electrical performance. So we are able to build these place, for example, with a higher resolution and at a lower cost. Invisible project was fully aligned with the recent Green Deal from the European Commission, as well as the Sustainable Development Goals. Transparent electronics is now a very well established technology because also we can exploit the use of these materials not only for the display area, but also for other integrated circuits like memories or other uh, semiconductor devices. We can use these uh, technology for smart medical platforms, for new types of energy, for smart packaging, and also for the automotive industry. We have a nice collaboration with, uh, with Samsung, also with LG and with other players. The display is today our interface. We need to be connected and the display is, is the best way for us to be connected. Spectacular! Let's hear from the winner, Ervila Fortunato. Good morning. Are you listening? Yes, Elvira, we're listening to you. Okay. First of all, I would like to thank the European Commission's initiative to recognize and award this type of projects that we can exploit for the benefit of the society. The Project Invisible was an advanced grant that I have been awarded in the first edition 2008. The project was about the use of sustainable materials and non-polluting technologies for display applications already aligned, as it was mentioned, with the actual Green Deal. I would like also to take this opportunity to highlight the work done by the European Research Council. In my opinion, the best research program in the world, supporting all fields of science on the basis of scientific excellence. I also would like to acknowledge my university, Nova University, for giving me the conditions to develop the project, even in the most difficult times during the financial Portuguese crisis. I would like to dedicate this award to the best team in the world, CENIMAT and CEMOP, that I'm very proud to integrate. Finally, if we want to have a better Europe, it's mandatory to place science as a political priority. We need to invest more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Elvira. And the next winner is a project that used their research results to protect the marine ecosystem by providing a solution to address illegal fisheries and bringing together a large number of stakeholders, including universities, civil society organizations, regulators, and market actors. The winner is Ocean Sentinel. Congratulations. In the ocean, there is a huge problem with illegal fishing because they are over-exploiting resources and because they are catching species that are not targeting, like sea turtles, seabirds or uh, sharks because they are not taking measures to try to reduce this. Ocean Sentinel is a new concept that is based on the development of new loggers that detect the presence of boats and these loggers have been fitted on albatrosses that patrol huge areas in the Southern Ocean. The idea was in fact to be able to detect when albatrosses are close by fishing boats, whether these uh, fishing boats are legal or illegal, and send the information to the authorities. Albatrosses are today uh, uh, the group of birds that is the most threatened. By fitting this threatened species with a new generation of loggers, will improve their conservation. We worked a lot with the authorities because they need to know where illegal fishing is taking place with the regional fishing management authorities 
also with a conservation organism. We work with uh, for example for ACAP, which is uh, an international agreement for the conservation of uh, the ocean of all albatrosses. And finally, also, we work a lot with uh, NGOs that are interested in the conservation of uh, the species in the Southern Ocean. Excellent. Let's hear from the winner, Henry Weimerskers. Henry, over to you. Henry, can't you listen? Okay. It's gone. Okay. So, we have a short problem with the connection, so we suggest that we move to the next uh, winner. Um, so, the next winner is a project, huh, is a project that used the research results to improve the health and the well-being of the youngest of patients, children, who suffer from cardiac insufficiency. They improved the particular assist device that is now much lighter, mobile, and more efficient, and which provides mobility and independence to the patients significantly, reducing the time spent in the hospitals during the long wait for a donor heart. The winner is Match. Congratulations. The MAC project was looking to improve the mobility and autonomy of children with end-stage heart failure. And our goal was to help the smallest of heart patients, children waiting for a donor heart. For these children, they very, uh, have very severe heart failure and their heart can't support them themselves. So they need an additional device, a ventricular assist device, that supports them during the long wait for a donor heart. This device hangs outside their body, has a pneumatic driving system, and often requires a driving unit to power that and pump the blood back and forth. The previous device was based on a compressor technology, so it was 90 kilograms large, it was stationary, uh, it had a very short-term battery, 30 minutes. And through this project, we were able to miniaturize this using piston technology. So it had two parts, one was the driver, but the other part was developing an educational platform that then showed how to use the driver and how to handle many everyday act activities. This also gives people more confidence and autonomy in using the device. We've had patients uh, in hospital which have had visitor re restrictions due to corona or COVID-19, and it's been difficult for the whole family to come visit them. So we have the possibility for the brothers and sisters to come meet them in the open air out in the garden because of the Expo Active. We were inspired by the resilience and also the uh, optimism of the patients and the families themselves. And by giving them this freedom of movement and this mobility, we were supporting them and reduced stress during the long waiting time and uncertain waiting time for a new heart. Wonderful research results for children. Let's listen more from the winner, Karina Benstorm. Karina. I'm very delighted about this award and my special thank you goes out to the European Commission for this amazing recognition. I am representing the Mach Consortium today and I don't want to leave my colleagues at the Freeman Hospital in Newcastle and Newcastle University, Emma Simpson and her team, as well as the team from the Berlin Heart Company, Mike Meissner, Franziska Grebner, Aline krischer reinhardt and many more unmentioned. Pit Aretz and Julia Krieger should not be forgotten here either. Together with EIT Health, we were able to achieve this great success. We brought together experts from academia, healthcare and industry to work towards a common goal, to improve the lives of children waiting for a heart transplant. This award goes to all children with end-stage heart failure. I want to thank Daniel and his family. He's the little boy you saw in the video for their, for their support. My sincere thank you. Well, thank you very much. And I think we have another fantastic story to hear from the next winner who, ah, who used their research results and came up with creative solutions to aid the climate change one step at a time, and starting with the aviation efficiency and reducing the air traffic emissions. 
They developed a software that analyzes millions of flights every year using big data and artificial intelligence, identifying also the best practices to save fuel and reduce our carbon footprint. The winner is Caring. Congratulations. We've developed a, a software that we call SkyBrave. It's a, an eco-flying software. The goal is to reduce the fuel consumption of airlines and their CO2 emissions. And the principle is that it uses all the data from the black boxes. And with big data algorithms and artificial intelligence, it produces recommendations to airlines and pilots that help them reduce their fuel consumption by up to 5% without any modification of the aircraft. We deploy the solution in all continents. But to give you some names, we have equipped Air France, uh, Cebu Pacific in the Philippines, Fly Dubai in the Emirates, Atlas Air, which is a big cargo airline that operates on behalf of Amazon in the United States. There is one thing we are very proud of, is that we've deployed it into a lot of lower middle income countries. It's very important because these countries usually don't have a lot of means to address climate change. But now by reducing their own footprint, they have a mean to contribute to the reduction of global warming. Last year, we've saved 600,000 tons of CO2. Our goal in the next five years is to multiply this number by 10 and reach 6 million tons of CO2 per year. Europe is at the leading edge of the fight against climate change and is going to increase its impact in the next years with the Green Deal. We are the champion of the green economy of tomorrow and also impacting the whole global warming on all the countries in the world. of efforts towards the European Green Deal. Let's hear from the winners, Alexandre Ferre and Solveig Mozan, please. Uh, thank you. Ten years ago, when we started working on our European Clean Sky Project Caring, we were only a team of five people, but we are passionate about making green aviation a reality. Participating to this project has changed our lives. It has allowed us to build a 40-people company Open Airlines that has developed SkyBrief, the first eco-flying solution for commercial aviation based on big data and artificial intelligence. Ten years later, this research has been converted into a commercial product that has allowed more than 40 airlines all around the world to reduce their CO2 emissions by almost 600,000 tons of CO2 last year. With the European Green Deal, Europe has pledged to be the leading continent in terms of CO2 reduction and to create a world economy and social well-being out of it. We are proud to be part of this mission and we'd like to thank the European Commission for its support and recognition. Save fuel, save money, save, save the, the planet. planet. <laughs> great, great. Thank you very much. We also have a special mention this year, a, women from, a winner for 2019 edition that unfortunately couldn't receive the award last year, but we take this joyous occasion to recognize your impact and give out the award. And uh, with that, it is my pleasure to announce also the fifth winner of the 2019 edition, which is a project that used their research results and developed energy efficient uh, humidification systems called the dry mist technology. By prolonging product fresh, uh, freshness while avoiding unnecessary plastic packaging, this technology has achieved significant reduction in food waste annually. And the winner is Fresh Demo. Congratulations. <laughs> Our research, Horizon 2020 research project was called Fresh Demo. The technology we now market as a result of that is uh, called dry misting. And it has two effects. It uh, raises the relative humidity around the products so they don't dehydrate and actually hydrating the product. And the fine droplets have a cooling effect. And all of this happens without giving any wetness to the products. The combined effect means that you can keep your products fresh a lot longer, reduce food waste, and reduce the amount of plastic packaging in the food and fresh supply chain. 
by reducing the food waste by 25%, the, the, the total margin is getting better for the retailers. That means they can offer a higher product quality for a better price. That means the final consumer gets a fresher product for a better price. We can apply this technology in the whole supply chain, but we found that we can best focus on the end of the supply chain, and that is the supermarket. And when they see the results, they will say to their suppliers, come on guys, this is really making a change in the product quality that we can get from you. So you have to also adopt this technology, and they can be an ambassador for us to, to pull it through. And it is our mission to reduce this uh, ridiculous amount of food waste. When we found out through the Fresh Demo project what impact we can make on the whole supply chain, it's really quite exciting and that's what's, uh, what keeps us going every day. Now let's all say, listen very briefly to the winners, Franziskus Becker and Roger Klein Sprackelhorst. Please. Thank you, European Commission, for awarding us. Um, I think you uh, made an excellent choice because we did make huge impact. Um, since the Fresh Demo project, our turnover more than tripled. Our workforce is doubled, all working on our mission. But it's minor, the gigantic impact has for our planet. At this moment, 35,000 systems operational to supermarkets all over the world. Each system contributes to an average of 35% less ridiculous waste flow of And this day by day. And on top of this, we reduce the plastic packaging because under our beautiful dry mist is not necessary. Thank you to the European Commission, thank you to all our partners in the project, and thank you to our colleagues from the Transphonics Trimestic team. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, now I know that Henry is back with us uh, from Ocean Sentinel. Uh, Henry Feimerskir, the floor is yours. Uh, yes. Uh, so, sorry for the uh, for the cut of the of the line. So I really want to to, to thank, uh, and it's a great honor for me to receive this prize. Uh, Ocean Sentinel originally originated, in fact, in a pure research uh, program funded by the ERC also, and led to a, a proof of concept uh, within uh, because there were unexpected results in this uh, uh, pure research program. And uh, this led to Ocean Sentinel. And so I think it's an excellent uh, example of, of how pure research can lead to unexpected results and a very applied research like Ocean Sentinel. So first, I would like to thank the ARC to making uh, this possible, uh, this kind of research possible. I would also like to thank uh, my colleagues and PhD and post. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much to all of you. A big thank and congratulations to all finalists and the winners of this Horizon Awards Impact Awards edition. Looking forward to see uh, many of you or maybe new ones, hopefully new ones, at the next year's edition. Thank you, Signe. And uh, good luck to all of you with the exploitation and uptake of your results. Thank many you. Many thanks. Many thanks to all of you.